Alrighty, we're about to go live on YouTube and Facebook as well. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for, for joining us. Um, we're about to get started in like uh, two to three minutes. Just gonna give some time for the rest of the folks to join in. Um, yeah, it looks like we have people still coming in. Let's give them a few minutes here. Yeah. else we have here adrian welcome alex welcome on board let us know where you're calling in from uh, and how do you guys feel about uh you know everything that's happening uh we are here to talk uh sales we're going to talk about how we're managing the situation and you know uh we have some uh actually positive news and good news it's it's uh it's been two years since we launched auto close so we're going to show you some changes and uh, we're gonna talk about some discounts and coaching. I, I bet you guys uh, wanna learn more about that too. As you can tell, we're all working from home. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's been an interesting ride so far. We actually plan on doing a show all together um, here in Toronto, but uh, but you know uh, we had to do it from the comfort of our homes. So uh, because I'm the one that's actually under self quarantine, so I couldn't leave and meet them. But fair uh, enough. It's, be it's better like this. I think everyone's kind of working from home now, so it's just good to either way kind of get used to it. Um, hi, Chick. Um, hi, Edward. Uh, we have some other people calling in. So. Um, Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get started. Give me, uh, give me a, one more second and we're gonna go live on YouTube and Facebook. Perfect. We don't have our studio here, so it's, uh, it's kind of not easy, but uh, we're gonna manage it. Sean, you can start slowly. Perfect. Well, thank you guys all for joining us today. Um, it looks like we have people from all over the world. I uh, hope everyone is safe um, and everyone is spending time with their family. Um, but today, you know, we, what we want to do is we want to do our kind of like our virtual um, auto close 2.0. We have a, you know, a night. We're going to try and keep this between 20 to 30 minutes for you guys today. Um, but we have a good agenda. Where we want to start talking about kind of giving you guys some tips on tricks on how to sell from home. Um, go through a little bit of some of our changes um, and then kind of offer some stuff to you guys today. So I first want to introduce myself. My name is Sean Finder. I am the CEO and founder of AutoClose. Um, we started AutoClose now, it's about two years ago. Um, and I started my first company uh, almost five years ago. Um, have a pretty interesting story um, going from, you know, playing semi-professional tennis, um, moving into a VP of sales role and coming up with an idea um, to build my first company about five years ago called Exchange Leads, and then slowly um, pivoting and moving that into our auto close, which is our tool now that kind of incorporates both the Exchange Leads and auto close. And then uh, now it's been two years, and uh, we've grown the company to you know over 40 employees um, inside the company. Um, and I want to kind of you know have Ved introduce himself, and then kind of we're going to go through you know, how we're kind of dealing with the whole uh, turbulence right now in the market and in the economy. But, um, what uh, I what I actually want to do, Sean, because uh, you had a really nice introduction of of kind of your past and the history. I actually want to give you a space to introduce me as well, because that's the part that I hate. Uh, and I actually want to get you to to introduce me and to kind of talk a little bit about you know the story and the beginnings of how auto close, how we actually met. That that that's an interesting one. And I know that you didn't expect this question, so it's totally totally. I you know I got the ball back into your court. Uh, speaking in tennis terms. So I actually want to hear you. How would you describe it? How, you know, 
So we'll, we'll, we'll say, we'll even go, how do we got here today was, uh, yes. you know, two, two years ago, three people um, in a boardroom with an idea. Actually, it was almost three years ago. And it took a year to develop. Almost three years, yeah. And then what happened was um, Ved actually was reaching out to me um, a few times to go for coffee. He just wanted to go for coffee just to talk shop. He was currently at, uh, working for another company. And That's then, how you do it. And then, uh, and then what happened was we, um, we met once for coffee. And it was the time where we were about to launch AutoClose. And I just right. thought, um, you know, it was, a, it was a perfect time. Um, and he was always, you know, looking for a new opportunity. I thought, you know what? He's driven. He's a hustler. He's competitive. Um, you know, let's bring him on board. And then what happened was we met for a coffee and we, uh, I ended up, um, seeing if he was looking for the opportunity. Well, the other company was kind of, um, you know, dwindling, dwindling off and, um, going through some, some rough times, um, brought that on board and he started with us, uh, you know, more on, on, uh, I guess a marketing, marketing. It was, yeah, we started with marketing. Uh, basically that was, you know, Sean always gets a question, you know, who was your first, you know, hire and you know, how did you do that? Basically I feel that, you know, marketing was the first real hire and how we structured the, the team. Um, and then slowly we moved on, you know, hiring more and more people. Um, currently I'm, I'm leading the, uh, you know, sales and marketing teams as a, as a CRO, as a CRO role, but, uh, uh, you know, like start, starting from humble beginnings and uh, we were basically just three guys in a boardroom just hustling uh, and trying to sell, you know, what we had uh, back then. We're going to get into that uh, real quick, but I, but I actually wanted to uh, to hear Sean uh, telling a little bit about, about that part. But yeah, we're going to, we're going to basically uh, split this, this real, um, this conversation into three parts. We're going to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, how we're dealing with this, um, you know, what you can do. And, and we're going to give you some of the advice and, and, and things that we, we know that that's been working for us and in our industry. Um, and then definitely feel free to interrupt us at any point in time. We can see your chat. We can even en enable your video and, and, uh, and audio to talk uh, if you feel so. Um, and then we can make this as interactive as possible because we're all getting used to this. Uh, we're, you know, in our own little home studios um, and, you know, trying to trying to, to make it happen and hustle through this uh, situation. Um, also, we're going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the, the software and how it evolved and what that means to, uh, for you and your business. And the third thing we're going to, as I said, like we're going Going to give you um, a little um, option to, to you know schedule a call with us and 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 go through a coaching session because we feel that you know that's exactly where we can help you. Um, so Sean, tell me a little bit about uh, you know how how are you as the owner of a business? How are you dealing with this crisis? How how are you dealing with uh, you know with a situation? Or do you even feel that it's a, it's a big of a crisis for the business? Tell us yeah, more about I mean, that. Yeah, I, I think I think every business is obviously going through some sort of turbulence right now um, with their economic impact. Um, from my perspective, I thought the first thing that I had to do was, um, I was actually away last week and then I was on self quarantine when I got here. But the first thing I had to do was make sure um, everyone know that their jobs were secure. Um, one thing we did as a company and I've done with both of my companies was we bootstrapped both companies, but we also, uh, we worked very lean. Um, we built it very lean. We are bootstraps. You have to be lean. Um, and we all know that every 10 years there is some sort of, um, financial crisis. Now there's a health crisis um, that happens and there's always recessions, depressions, etc. So you got to be able to overcome those. So one thing I felt was, you know, making people feel secure in their jobs and, and be very open and honest about where we are as a company today. Um, obviously, if this prolongs for a year, eight months, you know, it'd be a lot different than if what I believe it could be, you know, a four to 12 week um, scenario. So that was the first thing we wanted to discuss. And we, we had a call, we had a talk um, earlier this week about that. The right. next thing, the next thing, um, you know, is a, the most important to me is, you know, how's your family? How are your loved ones? How are your friends? Um, you know, what, what I've tried to build in general is a good culture um, and you have to build a good culture. So if you are a business owner that, are, that is here today, your employees are your family. They're not employees. And what you want to do is make sure that they feel comfortable that you are, you know, you're interested and you have invested interest into how their family and loved ones are doing. And right. number three, I would say, um, which I found is more important is now that everyone has a little bit more time, everyone's working from home, there's even more importance to have more meetings. Um, you want to make sure that, you know, not every Monday or maybe every two to three days, you're finding out, you know, are they stressed? Do they have anxiety? And also talk to each department to try, try and talk about strategic ways on how you can, um, they can overcome this. Because it's just a short term little, little turbulence. It will go away. Um, but those are the three things that I've done as an owner to really try and make my, um, my team feel secure throughout this turbulence. 
Gotcha. And I think that's, uh, that's, uh, I feel that that's the right way to go. Um, and, and, you know, we definitely can speak for each and every industry and a business. Uh, hence, we're going to open up the floor for you guys and, and to ask questions and also to, to kind of talk about what, where we, you know, where our strengths lie and where we can help you. But, uh, but also, Sean, I want to ask you because you're, you're, uh, you know, you, you started auto close based on the follow up methodology and, uh, and you know, I'm just I'm just curious. How how's our sales? Uh, how how are we impacted by this? Are we impacted? And how are we dealing with uh, you know typical objection handling? Hey guys, I love this product. Uh, super interested, uh, but you know I, I just I just can't make a move now. Yeah, a great question. So here's three things I would suggest, and these are suggestions for all you know any business owner, anyone that's in sales that's listening today. One, you have to find a story. So when you're talking to prospects now more than ever, you need a story because everyone knows what's going on right now. So for example, a story might be, you know, to talk about um, how, you know, in a month from now, when, you know, hopefully it subsides, you need a top of the funnel. You need to have prospects that are there so you can start closing once this economic impact is, 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 is gone. So what I say is come up with a story on how A, you need to fill the top of the funnel. Number B for us is, you know, talk about the need for email as a channel more important than ever now. Um, if you have a list of contacts, and you have their phone numbers. How good is a business phone number today when everyone's working remotely? So right now when you're making calls, you need to focus on direct dials over business phones because nobody's in the office. So I would say email is now the most important and following up is the most important because you wanna make sure that top of the funnel is really, really filled. You also wanna take away panic. Everyone's panic. And what panic makes people do is make you know, rash decisions. Um, so what you want to do is take that panic away, take that stress away, that anxiety right. away from that prospect. And that's why you want to find the good at the end, that there is going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And you know, your business will be okay. You might have to make a few different um, changes, you know, right now in the short term, but make sure that, you know, your prospects feel, feel comfortable that this will go away. Your business will still be okay. You might need to, you know, lay off a few people now, but in the future, you're going to need more sales to keep that business going. So, one thing I don't want people to do is forget about filling the top of the sales funnel. You might not have revenue coming in right now or as much revenue, but fill that top of the sales funnel. Cause if, it's, if this thing ends in a week, five weeks, eight weeks, 12 right. weeks, you want to have that funnel filled. hundred um, percent. And, and in, in terms of, in terms of um, the, the, you know, kind of the objection handling and, and obviously I don't want you to say like, you can say speak for everyone, right? Uh, how would you, as a, as a business owner or a VP of sales, how, how would you deal with the objections such as, you know, hey, you know, I just can't make a move now. Uh, you know, would you try to kind of uncover that a little bit, you know, uh, to see what, what's really behind it? Um, and, you know, what, what would be your approach before I so, start talking about be mine? So my personal yeah. approach would be, you know, is if, for example, somebody comes on a 14 day trial, you know, let them know if they say, you know what, Sean, I love the platform. I just can't make that purchase right now. Say, listen, we're all going through this together. And we are going through this. Everyone in the world is going through this together. You know, be available to give them an extra four, seven, 12 days extension on the trial. Because all you want to do is make sure that you can get through this four to six to eight weeks um, and, and you still have them interest. So, you know, extending trials, um, doing different sort of payment plans saying maybe, you know, if you want, you know, you want to, if you have a $10,000 PL, say, you know, what, pay me half today, pay me half in 90 days. Why? Because at that point in 90 days, things should be better and they might have more. So you gotta, you gotta feel for your, your prospects, feel for your clients. It's better to figure out a way to keep your client and be strategic than to let them cancel. So what I'm saying to our customer success team and everybody is, you know, work with your prospects, work with your clients because they want your product, but it's just tough times. So you got to be flexible with them. And that's what I would recommend to anybody that is getting objections right now. And also try and twist that objection. But that, those are the two things that I would definitely be working on. Gotcha. So kind of first, uh, you know, accept the fact. So don't go around it. Just say, yes, you know, it is a tough time. We're all going through it. And then, you know, try and figure out, you know, what, what's really behind the objection, right? And then, you know, eventually try and help, seek to help, which is, which is kind of the same thing that I've been seeing in marketing uh, all, all around marketing. Uh, what, what, you know, what, what's happening with our traffic, especially with online businesses um, and the software businesses, uh, our organic is, is down, you know, 
know, approximately 15 to 20 percent. And I know that some e-commerce businesses have, uh, you know, uh, even a, a greater struggle. Now, the way to go about it, like, like let's just accept the fact that uh, the interests changed, uh, at least for the time being. So the fact is, people are thinking about you know how to uh, how to save their jobs. They're thinking about we are thinking you know about that how to you know how to protect our families. Um, just just think about yourself and what do you search? What do you go to Google to look for to search for? Um, so how do you as a marketeers how do we how do we align? Um, well, basically, uh, accepting the fact that you know this is happening and, and then people are concerned uh, is, is is one way to go about it. And the other way is is a pretty standard one, and that is uh, you know try and align uh, your marketing efforts with what what's uh, what's the demand out there? You know what what people are you know in need for. You know if they're if they're looking for advice on how to work from home, then position your your uh, your articles, position your 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 online assets to 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 bridge the gap between you know that kind of question and what's out there in the market. If you see that everyone's sending their take on on how to deal with COVID, uh, what you want to you don't want to do that, right? You wanna you wanna really see. What, what, what's your product, what's your service all about, and how you can help people that are, that, whose needs now switched to something else. Um, and so I don't wanna give you like anything, you know, super specific, yes, do online events. It's pretty self kind of explanatory. People, people go for Zoom. Uh, we also have some people from Vidyard here um, on, on, a, on a webinar, so shout out to them. Um, uh, we, we, we have a partnership with them and they, uh, they're kind of also giving away some, some uh, free goodies there and the ability to, to do videos and screen share and recording. So there's plenty of articles on tools and what you need to use um, in order to, to really like push uh, your, your office back home and to really make sure that, uh, that you're all aligned. But as I said, it comes down to, to, to picking up the, as, as actually Sean said, it comes down to picking up the phone, to sending that email and to trying to establish that personalized relationship uh, as for your marketing teams, try and, and, and you know, uh, position the product offering or a service offering so that it fits the need and that you give your uh, tokens of help and support to your customers and any and every future potential customer. So don't look at these prospects that, you know, are just saying no to you as, as, as lost deals, but look at them as future potential customers of your business. So just make sure that you help and assist now. Um, and and a mantra that I always go about, um, you know, in life and business is is always first seek to give, then you know, uh, then uh, then you ask. Um, and that's that's exactly what we're trying to do with this event and, and next events that we're going to be doing uh, and launching. Funny enough, um, also on the marketing end, <clears throat> we do have uh, we do have a, a, a slight decrease, or actually a quite a chunk of a decrease in organic traffic because people are just not searching uh, for sales. They're searching for coronavirus, uh, but- Or um, Corona beer. Or, or Corona <laughs> beer, exactly. But, uh, but, but we definitely, our conversions are actually quite up, which is, which is just a funny thing, uh, which gives us, it's still too early to say, but it gives us some kind of an idea that uh, people are, are kind of finding more success with email as a channel, uh, and that's something worth exploring. Um, also, uh, what I would like to say uh, is, is we as a team, we're gonna be giving away at least 25% of our time every Wednesday and every Thursday uh, for the next 30 days, and we might extend that, you're gonna be able to book um, a coaching session with a team. Uh, and that is really going to be all about you. And, and you know, even though it says here auto close demo, it's just part of the link. Uh, so don't worry about it. If you, if you wanna see a demo, if you wanna see how the platform works, if, if you wanna see how auto close can help your business, fine, we're more than happy to show you around, but uh, we're gonna, we, we would really wanna help you answer um, uh, the toughest sales questions because that's where we feel we excel. Um, and, and, you know, as someone whose business is growing uh, 65%, if not, if not more at this stage, uh, year over year, uh, we, we feel that we have uh, the expertise to tell you a little bit about, uh, uh, you know, how to navigate this situation. Now, um, Sean, if you want to add anything to that. Yeah, I, uh, actually, I have a question for you, Ved. Um, and this yes. is just something I was thinking of. You know, one thing I think a lot of people do 
um, a lot of is, is, is advertising, right. Facebook ads, LinkedIn hmm. ads. Um, what is your advice to people that are spending lots of money? I mean, I, I know a lot of people aren't going to spend. Right. Do you think it's time where, um, you know, you should cut back on ad spend or is this something where you think that the cost per click might, might go down because people are all taking it away that you might be able to get more, more impressions. So I'd love to hear your feedback because I'm sure right. some people in our audience are using um, ads as, as one way to get more prospects. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's a, it's a great question and it's really hard uh, for me to, to get into, uh, into a straight answer because, um, it really depends on your business. I find that for, for business to c consumer, um, most of these shops, you know, would probably, uh, you know, should, should probably spend some money in ads as well because people are now spending time on social, yeah. um, and, and obviously retargeting them on different websites could, could prove useful. Uh, but I, I definitely suggest that you A-B test. Our first response as, as, as a demand gen team um, at AutoClose is, is never to just go in and, and spend money on ads uh, because we feel that we've must mastered some, some other funnel, funnels better. Um, you know, and, 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 and like, as I said, a personal connection that we're trying to make on every channel, on every event is, is where we excel. Uh, LinkedIn as a channel and email as a channel are, are really for us Make make a lot of sense to our unit economics, uh, so to to be to 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 kind of cut down uh, to to most important uh, information when it comes to ads. Yes, I would definitely try them if you're in B two C. If you're in B two B, pick up the phone, uh, send that email out, um, you know, and 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 get connected to your to your um, to your prospects, right? Um, also, I actually wanted to share a couple of uh, other facts that, that actually helped me a lot that are uh, related to tools to use at home, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you the software and everything that we use. Yes, you know, we use Slack, uh, we use Zoom, uh, obviously we use AutoClose to sell extensively and LinkedIn, fine. And there are a bunch of other tools, for instance, like Crisp, it's a really good tool if you don't have an uh, expensive headset to, to noise cancel um, uh, your, your environment, everything that's happening around. But some other things that I haven't read about is is get a standing desk as you can see I'm, I'm currently standing and having a standing desk at home or any improvisation on that is 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 really good for your back it's good for a productivity it's 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 just overall it's it's superb um, thing to have um, if not using any software, and if 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 you if you have the ability to get one, uh, without spending too much money, you can get really some good uh, noise cancellation headset, uh, which is which is really cool uh, to have at home. Um, also, uh, what I what I find is you know when you when you do demos as salespeople or you have uh, online appointments, a lot of people uh, are doing it from their Wi-Fi. If you already have Wi-Fi, then you just you should get a cable and connect it into your computer so you have a more stable network. Just a tip that you know uh, saved me a bunch of hey, do you hear me back and forth. Um, um, and, and 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 another thing that I'd like to say, you know, try and stay mindful. Um, you know, and, and 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 like don't just if even if you call your prospects and 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 the customers, like don't just talk about this for the sake of talking about it. You know, like. Uh, stay focused on what's important because again, uh, we shouldn't get in a catch 22 where we just panic and do nothing, right? Business needs to, uh, needs to evolve. And if nothing else, as, as external people of the organization, you know, sales and marketing people, we should, you know, care about our, our employees and make sure that the business is stable. So stay focused and, you know, if this is your first time working remotely, try and huddle every morning. You know, have a phone like a, a Zoom call or any kind of um, video conference with your teammates. Uh, make sure that you have a video on, even though Sean and I are not, you know, currently in a perfect shape. Uh, you know, and we're at home. We then, you know, we decided to do a video share because, hey, we're humans, and you know, we want to make sure that you know, kind of, we're kind of connected in a way, right? So I, I think video and, and morning huddles uh, work really well. Um, lastly, you know, when it comes to uh, when it comes to to interesting and useful stuff, a couple of books that I would like to recommend. You know, I, I read uh, just recently Principles by Ray Dalio. So you know, books are, are I'm a big fan of books. So you know, start reading. Now you have more time. You're at home. You know, from uh, uh, Impossible to Inevitable uh, by Aaron Ross, our, our friend. Um, Essentialism, an amazing book about, uh, you know, what's essential, essentially these times and how to focus your mind on the business and what I was talking about before. Um, 
But, uh, but yeah, it's like use this time in a different way. Pick up the phone, call your prospects, send emails, read books, and, you know, have video conference calls to, with your teammates. That's going to make a change and it's going to feel, make you feel less anxious and less uh, lonely. Uh, books are my always go to uh, for, for any, any kind of situation. Um, now also what I want to share um, before we move uh, on to, on to uh, the, the next, uh, next topic is uh, guys, I'm going to share this uh, uh, link with you. Feel free to book a coaching session with the team. Um, either Sean, Adrian, or I will join in, and 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 we can go over your your marketing and sales and kind of help you um, navigate this this change. And and you know, I leave it at that. Uh, feel free to feel free to email us, to message us. We're going to be there for you um, and uh, and respond to every single message. Um, just while we're going, I just want to answer some questions. So uh, Chris, thanks. Chris said, you know, considering giving somebody 60 days of a trial, if they end up using the platform, you're guaranteed um, 100%. Um, and also Chris, uh, Edward, I think uh, Jeremiah uh, answered your question. So Crisp is an awesome app for reducing background noise. Yeah. Um, and if you have any, if you need any more information, Edward, feel free to um, ask that after, the, after this. And yes. So you'll be able to answer any of your questions. So what I want to do is, you know, kind of, we're going to go, uh, Ved's going to kind of go into a, a, you know, a product screen presentation. Before that, what I want to do is kind of, you know, more talk about, you know, um, we're now two years in. Um, what we did was we launched two years ago, auto close. We made tons of changes. We have over 10 new features. that are big features that we've recently launched. We have a new one coming out April 13th. But what I want to do is kind of have Ved go over the presentation, show you some screens, and he can show you some of those new features um, that we've recently launched so you guys are more familiar with you know what exactly uh, we have been doing because as you guys see every Tuesday we send you guys newsletters with different things so Ved I'll let you take over and um, and she can show them some of the good stuff actually uh, you know I, I'm more than happy to to go over the platform but I see we're still on time and you know it's just fascinating to me uh, like your story like I don't I don't feel that we you know uh, kind of uh, you know uh, tell, uh, I feel that you still have some things to share, especially you as, as, as a guy who, you know, was a professional tennis player, you know, decided to move into entrepreneurship with your first business. Then the, the auto close came about, you know, what's, uh, uh, why do you hate yourself so much, man? Like, why, why do you, you know, why starting all these businesses? Uh, like, yeah, well, well, so what happened was, um, if you don't know, I did an MBA in finance and I always find that having an MBA is always you know, a finance background is always the, the, the number one thing you need to start a business. And I played semi-professional tennis where I learned my competitive nature came from actually. Um, and then got a role as a VP of sales. And when I was a VP of sales, um, you know, I, uh, I found a problem in the industry. Um, and what I did was I worked one year, found that problem, um, and then said, okay, over that one year, I'm really going to focus and build a product. So we built exchange leads, which I said was four years ago. But the, the big thing was, you know, going from that tennis background and making that transition from be, trying to become at one point a professional tennis player and then becoming an entrepreneur, it was a, it was a big transition. It was a, something that I didn't want to do, but I didn't get much choice from my parents because they said, well, not many people have, have actually become professional tennis players in Canada and you won't make a living off it. So I would say um, that's kind of my story, how I went from tennis to entrepreneur. But when we had exchange leads, it was kind of like the old jigsaw data company. Um, and right. we just saw a problem in the market and, and what our clients said, this is like, you know, we want to be able to email the data that you provide us. And this is like two years ago where a lot of consolidation was happening in the space, meaning right. you know, salespeople don't want to have 12 tabs at the top of their computer and have to laptop and have to you know, click on each one for one's a CRM, one's a sales tool, one's a marketing tool, one's a streaming tool. So what we tried to do is consolidate the database inside AutoClose. And that's how we came up with the idea of AutoClose was our client said to us, we love your data. How do hmm. we email it? Um, and then a year later, that's how we started in uh, early 2018 with AutoClose. And that's exactly what you shipped, uh, a way to email clients. And I remember when I joined in, uh, when I actually started in, in, in startup world and software world, it was actually the, the end of the, the, the second crisis after the kind of dot-com boom. Uh, it was in, in, in 2008, right? When the, the second crisis hit, it was mainly the financial, but again, it was, it was, a, it was a knockdown. And, you know, I've been following the market ever since. Uh, and then, you know, when I had that coffee with Sean and I joined the team, 
um, and I was looking at the platform. I was like, how are we going to sell this? You know, like it was a simple workflow uh, to to uh, ship emails and that's it. Like, like uh, amazing database, perfect. But you know, it was a very simple software. And and guess what? We were booked the same way as we're booked today when the software is is you know has a lot of options. Uh, and you know, it was just funny to me how how um, uh, Sean and and back you know Dan Adrian were just able to close those deals on a call with such a simple software. But that's exactly the the the, the pain point that Sean addressed a few moments ago, salespeople, uh, business owners, they don't want to be dealing with, uh, you know, with a bunch of softwares and options and, you know, clicking here and there. They just want things get done and deals closed. Um, and, and so, as you can see on this little slide, uh, that the first version of AutoClose went exactly when I joined in. I was leading this campaign. We ended up being the top five products of the day uh, on Product Hunt. And as you can see on the right-hand side, the... Uh, you know, the, the platform had three tabs with the dashboard, uh, my team and ship campaigns. That That's about it. Um, two years later, uh, you know, uh, with a lot of major upgrades, uh, we've, we've noted down that we had 10 major upgrades and I don't know how many millions of lines of code. Uh, we actually, uh, we've, we've built uh, slowly over time, a new auto-close, auto-close that we dubbed like 2.0. Uh, which is a, a, a very same principle as before, simple workflow to start your campaign. Uh, on the other end, with a lot of power and a way better engine to deliver those emails, to manage your team, teammates um, and, and, and to grow. Because also one of the key strategies of our growth uh, in the early days, you know, how can you say that you have a strong brand after a month or two? You can. So we were leaning on Sean's ability to, to actually, you know, attract and sell um, together with all of us. Uh, while we were working on the brand, uh, you know, we, we did manage to sell using the B to C to B strategy, where we where we, where we would sell to a, a young proactive professional uh, who would then sell to his team lead, team lead to the department, etc. And that's exactly how we managed to acquire some of the big uh, clients on our on our list. And for all those of you who are joining in, uh, we actually decided to record the webinar and to ship uh, the. Um, uh, to ship the recording later, so don't worry if you missed the first part of the conversation where we talk a little bit about the objection handling and, and navigating this. Uh, so, so as I said, like if you even if I scroll back to this first uh, uh, screen and then to the second, you can see that there is a big difference, at least in the left hand side. Uh, 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 in the number of left-hand side features and functionalities that you can use. Now, one of the biggest things that we're proud of uh, is the uh, Oracle sentiments. Compared to many other amazing companies in the space, we're actually the first ones to present auto sentiments in a way where you can see each how each and every reply is doing. And even if you carefully look um, at some of the other options, you can see that auto close is the only one that's actually filtering those replies that you're receiving from your campaigns um, as per uh, those that are engaged, uh, those that are not interested, and then unsubscribes, auto responses, and out of offices. Now, why, why is this important? Well, first, you want to see how you're doing across the board, across the team, department, et cetera, and how many actual uh, engaged prospects you have. Uh, another thing that you that you um, that you want to have as part of the improvement of the of the entire workflow is actually the the out of offices we're getting. In 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 many other softwares, when you get an out of office reply, uh, the prospect gets removed from your follow-up email. You get to waste a lot of time and effort uh, you know, in, in acquiring the, the, the email, the prospect, and then it's just out of office and you forget about it. Well, not anymore with auto-close uh, sentiments. We tell you uh, about all the auto responses and out of office so you can filter them and return them back into campaign. And the software is smart enough to figure out when it should fire off the second, third follow-up basically meaning that they will uh, continue where they stopped. Now, I understand that for some people who are not native to um, 
to uh, email campaigning and email as a, as, a, as a channel, this might be all confusing and all that. So hence, don't, don't hesitate to, to, to book a demo with any one of us or to send us a message. We'll be happy to elaborate. But um, auto-close sentiments are, are a game changer, um, especially that uh, you know you can you can the world's your oyster with with auto close you can you can uh, if the system returns an engaged reply or you know not interested etc and you feel that that not interested prospect is actually interested and engaged well you can override the software and mark them as um, as engaged etc. Um, Manage contacts uh, two years ago, uh, we, we actually, we never intended to become a CRM and we're not going that route because there are plenty of other options that we also integrate with. Um, but uh, we did build the manage contacts, uh, manager contacts feature inside, uh, inside AutoClose. So it's again, very easy, plain and simple to, to manage your uh, contacts, see from which campaign they're coming in from, you know, uh, what's the activity type, uh, tag them, push them to another campaign. It's very easy to the workflow remained as it was back in the day. Very simple and easy and intuitive to use for uh, your sales teammates or uh, yourself. Uh, ecosystem, super proud of that. Uh, we built a number of integrations over the years. Uh, and and, and it, what, you, what you're seeing here on the screen are basically the native integrations, but we do have a ton of third party integrations. And we're moving our way, um, you know, up, up the market to, to make even more integrations uh, for our enterprise size clients, um, and, uh, and small and medium sized businesses as well. We're basically in the process of collecting the feedback. Um, and um, and you guys can uh, can send us a message if you if you if you're not seeing any one of your favorite apps, um, and we'll get it uh, get it done. Now the live dashboard. This was also a game changer that we launched a month and a half ago. Uh, most of our users and active users have noticed it. Uh, very important feature. Uh, one of the most requested features to have. Oh, because uh, obviously you want to see how your campaigns are doing, how your teammates are doing, and we're giving you an aggregation of on all, on all your campaigns uh, in this one simple intuitive uh, interface. Um, you can obviously see the daily open rates, hourly open rates. You can see the warmest prospects, uh, the top three job titles, U.S. states, companies, etc. Um, a little bit down below, which I'll show you in the live. Uh, in the live showcase, you can see how your campaigns are doing. You can pin particular campaigns and see how they're doing high level. Um, interestingly enough, um, you can see uh, how every every minute, every every moment, how um, your campaigns are performing and who's engaging. So you can immediately go back to this person and you know call them, send them another email, uh, and get them while they're reading your email. Which is uh, which is important for closing. Um, another interesting thing is, and, and I'm going to um, ask you, Sean, a couple of questions here. Um, our data unlimited from the interface standpoint didn't change much, um, but we did have an increase in data, and we're currently cleaning around 150 million contacts U.S. only. Um, and Sean, I'll, I'll let you talk a little bit more about that and what does that mean to our clients and prospects. Uh, you're muted, by the way. Yeah, so we've... Uh, Perfect. Yeah, as you know, we work from home. There's people in the background, so I'm just muting myself while I wasn't speaking. But um, building your own list, yeah, our, our database is, um, you know, we currently have about 30 million contacts with another, I believe it's going to be four and a half million being added in the next two weeks. We're just validating those right now. But what we're doing is we're spending a lot of time listening to the feedback from our prospects. So we're currently um, offering, I think it's about 18 different fields that you can search by. Yes. Um, and you can kind of dissect exactly who your, your prospect is. And this is one thing that I always tell people. Our dashboard is great because you can send people emails from our Data Unlimited and almost build your own buyer's persona. Therefore, yes. if you could go to our dashboard and see, okay, well, it looks like people in Texas that are VPs of sales are the really ones engaging with my content. And that's how this building list is. You, gotta, you, you can't just email and expect to get the result. You have to email and analyze Who's opening your email? What's that job title? What is the size of the company, et cetera? And we provide you all that information inside the sequence. And we are looking at potentially building in different technologies people are using and appending and, and doing more with our data. But we do have a, 
a great new feature coming in a few weeks. I know Veg is going to get to that next. Exactly. Uh, our data is, is basically uh, bringing us to, uh, to, to a new product that we're launching in a few weeks. Uh, we're, we're launching the Auto Verify, uh, a tool that will prevent you from getting those bounces, uh, that will improve your deliverability rate and, and improve your sender's reputation. How are we going to achieve that? Well, we're going to give you an option to uh, auto verify your emails inside a platform. Currently, we're doing that as part of our service, but as we're building a proprietary product and uh, 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 inside AutoClose, we want to give you the option to be able to do that yourself without even contacting a salesperson. So that, that's an exciting new feature that we are, we're launching because it's such an important part of sending emails. Um, also back to the data um, um, portion, we, we, we have a lot of people here who join us in the webinar, so I want to give you an insider's information. A few months from now, we are looking into building a credit system. So I believe that now we do actually have a really good deal, if you think about it. So for a one-time fee uh, or, or an annual fee, better said, uh, you're going to get access to the entire database uh, compared to the credit system where you'll be able to purchase credits. Um, and, uh, and, and, and as much as you purchase, you can you can utilize that so so I, I feel that this is also the right moment to kind of explore the, the, the data unlimited but I leave that to you guys um, feel free to message us at any point in time um, uh, let me just jump in but I just yes to talk, uh, uh, just about a few things so yeah so yeah. what we also have a Chris uh, question from Chris but yeah auto verify um, you know it's 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 good for verifying your emails real time validating your CRM Data becomes obsolete every few months, especially with what's going on right now. Super People important. Might yep. be moving out of positions. So you need to have clean data because if you're using a high bounce rate in your data, you'll probably be kicked off a lot of the platforms you're using. So auto verify. Also, I know we are going to be publishing important. in the chat box. If you are interested in early access to auto verify, just say interested in the chat box. I'll make sure Ved makes a list and then we'll let you know when that launches in April so you'll have early access. And I just want to go through one more thing. Chris has a question. Can I load a specific list of company names and then get human resource contacts? Um, basically, that's what we deduplicate. We dedupe everything. If you upload contacts via CSV and that email is in our database, you will not dedupe and send the same email to two people at that company. We will also map your data you upload versus our database. It is all done through smart matching. You don't have to worry about that, Chris. And if you have any other questions, you can probably um, just that can give you his calendar maybe on here and you can book a time with him to uh, actually get a demo of the data. So maybe that right. at the end, just yep. leave your calendar in there so then they, he can book for Chris to book the demo. 100%. All righty. Um, so the other thing that that's, that's super important, Sean, uh, and, 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 and you can see that you have a, a ton of experience in, in the data space because, uh, exchange leads, uh, previous business was, uh, was all about data. Um, and, and, you know, Sean managed to go from again, zero to, uh, Rogers, Samsung's of the world, Microsoft's of the world using the platform. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's, that's a very important, uh, uh, note as well. I also want to say that, uh, you know, we have a bunch of amazing resources and we're going to be keep posting, we're going to keep posting more useful resources uh, related to, to everything that we talked about today. Uh, it's going to be online. It's going to be on autoclose.com, autoclose with a K. Um, and uh, we have amazing new resource that just came out like a few few weeks ago, the ultimate cold email outreach playbook. I know that cold email has not been working for a lot of people. And, you know, um, and, and I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is that you have a lot of power. So you can send a lot of emails to a lot of people and get away with it. Most of the time, sometimes you get blocked, but usually you get away with it. And, and, and then people are like, oh, but it's not working for me. Uh, long gone are the days where you can just set it and forget it, where you can just utilize one channel. You're going to be utilizing multiple channels. You're going to be utilizing email, LinkedIn, uh, phone, and combine all those together uh, in order to build a relationship and to establish a reputation, especially if you're doing anything cold. And guess what? If you're saying that the inbound is the only important thing that you should be focusing on, again, in my opinion, or in my experience, better said, it, that's a mistake because you can have a business if you don't have a predictable uh, 
revenue coming in from from a cold prospect and 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 that's just marketing and sales 101 nothing's changed in the past uh, xyz years um so so i guess uh, sean um uh, another thing would be would be useful to kind of you know talk about uh you know extended trials this because you already mentioned that but maybe one more time just yeah. just mention that for the for the folks because we we are going to help you navigate through this uh th these times and and sean so let me just jump in. I, I, we have another question, uh, you know, Jeremiah. So yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we do custom lists as well, guys. So if, yep. for example, you know, we have a database, but if you're really trying to dissect that database and get, okay, I want, I want plumbers that work at a specific school in Texas, for example. That might not be in the database because you can't really filter, but we do custom lists. So you can actually reject me. So the list in the segment you want, Jeremiah, um, just send me an email. I'll put my email right now, Sean at autoclose.com in the chat. And what you can do is send me exactly your requirements and we can build a custom list where you could then upload that into autoclose and uh, do it. So if anyone has any custom list, it could be very specific. Um, please um, send me an email and I can get that list for you. Does the data cross run built with, you know, we have a, an internal team out in Eastern Europe that, works with all our data. We are a data company at heart. Remember, we built auto close on top of the data company. So we do right. have people that are manual. We have a manual, a Google Chrome plugin that we've built internally that we only use um, in different ways. So um, send me an email, we can get through that. So what I want to offer everyone here today is, um, A, you know, Ved, maybe put your Calendly in there so people can, can book a, a demo for you. But um, anyone that's on a trial, if you're not on a trial, you can go to our pricing page right now, book a trial, Mention that you, you listen to us on this, this webinar today and I'll have them extend the trial or you can sign up. But if you do need help extending a trial, let us know. If you're interested in the data and you want to have a payment plan for the next month or two, let us know. We're here to help you. Um, all, you know, all you have to do is mention that you saw it on this webinar um, and I will make sure that we, we work with you on anything we can do. Because at the end of the day, we want you guys to fill the top of the sales funnel during these turbulent times. If you, if we can help you now, we know that after this whole thing ends, you guys will help us. But why is that important, Sean? Why is it important to fill the top of your funnel right now? Uh, I think you have an amazing uh, uh, take on that. So uh, tell us a bit more about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I said it earlier. I mean, you want to fill the top of your sales funnel because whenever this is over, you need to have prospects that are going to buy from you. It will, there will be, you know, there are going to be stimulus packages, there will be different things that are going on. And the most important thing to your business is prospects. You cannot sell without prospects. Start to get your prospects at the top of the funnel. You can close them all in June, but get them filled up over the next two months. So don't sit back and say, I don't want to you know, pay for any more tools because we're going through rough times. This is the time where you need the tool the most. So you want to make sure you're using those tools. You're filling the top of the sales funnel. So you can still for the back half of this, of this year, you can um, continue to have closing and, and, and get more sales, guys. 100%. Um, I, you know, I think that sums up the, 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 the event. Uh, as I said, like, I didn't want to go into too many details. And for you guys who are, uh, you know, listening to this for the first time and you haven't seen auto close before, there's a link for a demo. There's a coaching URL. Um, also, a, a, a link to, to book a time with uh, on our calendar. But uh, I just want to wrap this up uh, with your questions and, and, you know, anything that you'd like to ask, uh, uh, you know, comment on or any, any kind of, uh, you know, worries that you might be having. We're, we're going to be, we're happy to address a few questions. Yeah. Uh, we I'd still have to, some time. I'd love to hear any more questions. We've answered a few so far, but I'd love to hear any questions. I mean, also let us know who you are. Like, are you currently a client of AutoClose? Are you a prospect of AutoClose? Just put that in the chat box. If you want to have early access to auto verify, um, we want to make sure we take care of all you guys through, through this turbulent time. So um, feel free to ask any questions. We'll give you guys a few minutes and we're here to answer anything you guys might have. It might be about, you know, what CRM do you recommend, but ask us anything because I know Ved has a lot of experience with a lot of different tools. So he'll be more of an expert on that as well. Don't be shy. <laughs> Looks like a lot of people have, uh, any other questions from maybe Chris about the data, um, Jeremiah, Ray, Vladimir, anything? Thanks, Prab. Stay safe as well. Thank you. Thanks.
Igor, any questions? Or uh, it looked like Melissa, any questions? Alex. Mike, any questions? Thanks, Edward. Thanks, Glad Ed. you enjoyed it. Yeah. Thanks, check. Chris. Yeah. Check. Check. You could just uh, you can just um, once you're ready to book book it. You can you have uh, Veg calendar. Even if you want to book it for next week, you can do that as well. Hundred percent. Awesome, Chris. Thanks for joining. Good question. Um, auto close resources. I'm gonna go right into that. Uh, this is the. Uh, Let's answer the question. Was where do I download all the books? Yep. I'm going to share a link immediately. Give me a sec. I'm going to give you a direct link to the latest yeah. one. Perfect. Alrighty. Um, Thank you guys so much. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to follow up with you. Stay safe. Uh, you know, don't don't forget to put your smile on from time to time, and you know, uh, share good energy and positive vibes. We all need that. Um, Sean, thank you for for this session, man. This was good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dad. Talk to you guys. Keeping in touch. Bye.